Do you have the right yolk? How do you even measure that? In this video, I'm gonna give you some of the basics. Hi, I'm John Henson, and I'm here for Curry Enterprises. And today we're gonna to talk about the most common yolks that we use in the rear ends that we build here. Uh, most commonly, you're gonna hear these numbers, 1310, 1330, 1350. But what do those mean? What do they mean to you? What does that mean to the yolk? Basically, there's three different sizes. It's a 1310, 1330, and a 1350. Basically, we're really talking about the diameter and width or the size of the U-joint that's gonna be fitted to each yolk. Important pieces of information, when you're measuring a U-joint, what you wanna do is, is you wanna measure the width of the U-joint and the diameter of the cap. Those two things are gonna determine which, which yoke you need to fit your application. Of course, this is if you're trying to keep the drive shaft that's in your car. The tools you're gonna need, really basic, just a tape measure, and if you do have it, a set of calipers. Be really good so you can get it accurate. The reason why I say use a set of calipers is the diameter of the U-joints only vary by a sixteenth of an inch. So it's a lot easier if you've got a set of these. You can pick them up from Harbor Freight, something easy. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure the width of the U-joint and write that down. And then you're gonna measure the diameter of the cap on the U-joint. Uh, the 1310 is gonna take a 3.219 width here of the U-joint and the diameter cap is gonna be an inch and a sixteenth. On a 1330, it's gonna be a 3.625 width and an inch and an eighth cap. Only a sixteenth difference, which is why it's kind of important if you have a set of calipers. And then on the 1350, it's gonna be a, another 3.625 width, same as the 1330, but it's an inch and three sixteenths cap. Now, we usually use a 1330 most commonly in all of our nine inch applications, 31 spline third members. Plenty strong for most of the horsepower and street applications for muscle cars today. But if you're gonna be building something from scratch and you don't have a drive shaft or a U-joint that you're trying to retain or keep in the car, the 1350 might as well go with this. Largest size yoke that we put on a nine inch in most common street muscle car applications and off-road as well. Basically, then you can have your drive line shop make a drive shaft that's gonna be able to mate to this 1350 yoke. Also important pieces of information, if you have a drive shaft already and you unfortunately did not get the size correct, there's conversion U-joints that are available on the market today that could go from a 1310 to a 1330 yoke or from a 1330 to a 1350. Hope that helps out and clears up some of the uh, information on when choosing a yoke. If you have any questions, send us an email, give us a call or drop a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe here. For more tech videos, click here. And for more curry content, click here. Thanks for watching, guys.